What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are here in Kyoto, one of the most popular places for tourists. And it's not hard to understand why because Kyoto is a beautiful place and I think it's a must place visit. Today we're going to be trying out a lot of different street foods from the streets surrounding Kiyomizu Temple, one of the most popular tourist spots in this beautiful city. It's been 30 years since I came here last time. Yeah, that's a very long time. I was here this summer to uh, do some research actually for this video. And let me tell you, there's a lot of good street food around this area. I didn't know this before I did some research. I really didn't. Every time I came to Kiyomizu Temple, I went directly to the temple and that's it. You know, so I didn't, I didn't know about all the yummy mm -hmm, food. Mm -hmm. So today, I'm going to show you around this area oh. because I did the research. A lot of good food, trust me. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. So the first place is Baizando. We found this yuba cheese, torokeru yuba cheese. It's deep fried yuba wrapped. Inside is cheese and fish cake. Kamaboko, like kamaboko. Itadakimasu. Mmm. It's freshly made. Outside is really sakuto and inside, look, here's cheese. And this part is kamaboko, like kamaboko, fish cake. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, did you hear that crunch? All oh, that yuba, that crispy tofu skin. Mm. And the fish cake itself is super fluffy. Mm. And so much flavor. Oh, and I taste the cheese too. I think the cheese is like like blended into the fish cake itself i think and when they cook it the cheese melts inside the fish cakes so you have like pockets of melted cheese within the fish cake itself There's so much flavor mm. all right let's go to the next place so next we found soft cream soft serve at hisaya this looks like vanilla soft cream or milk soft cream soft serve but it's not it's roasted chestnut flavor can you believe it? This is roasted chestnut flavor soft sub. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yes, it's chestnut flavor. Imagine the Mont Blanc cake. The top part is chestnut flavor. It's like this. This flavor is like that. I love this. I love this. By the way, they also had a matcha soft serve, which looked really good, but we couldn't resist the roasted chestnut. Um, it's roasted chestnut season, well, chestnut season. And this place is super famous for their Mont Blanc or chestnut cake. But, uh, you know, we're doing street food today, so we thought we'd get the soft serve instead. Oh, that's actually a very nice chestnut flavor. I have to say, the first bite, it was a little bit subtle, but then if you like let it linger on your tongue, the chestnut flavor comes out pretty strong. Check it out. Oh, what a surprise. There's a whole roasted chestnut on the bottom of the cone. Mmm, that is so lovely. All right, just a few steps away from the last place we went is this place called Mori Tokikan. Uh, they are known for their ceramics. They have a shop um, selling ceramics in here as well as right across the street. But they also sell food. And they sell something that looks like this. I love these uh, buns. This one is not your normal, typical nikuman or pork bun. This is made with Kyoto Wagyu, Kyoto Japanese beef. This is 450 yen, so they're using premium beef. So if this is good, I think it's totally worth the price. So let's check out what it looks like on the inside. All right, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Wow. Wow. Okay, I see some uh, shredded bamboo shoots and I see beef. I you know if you look at the beef closely, it's a little red. So it looks like it's like uh, not like uh, well done it's a little bit it's not rare it's like medium medium it's like cooked medium 
Wow. Okay, I can't wait to take a, take a bite. It smells amazing, guys. Mm. Wow. Oh my God, that beef is so tender. It's not lean, it's actually kind of fatty, you know, like how Wagyu is supposed to be. But it's like so melt in your mouth tender. The bamboo shoots has a really nice crunch and the sauce itself is savory, a little bit sweet, kind of like sukiyaki sauce. And the bun itself is not dry, it's very fluffy. And this shop sells a variety of unique buns. They have a uji matcha bun, they have a fruit bun, they have a um, fish and shrimp bun. I'm really, really curious to see what the fruit bun tastes like. I mean, it's like a dessert bun, I guess, right? It's really good skiyaki, like skiyaki flavor. This is really like skiyaki, good skiyaki. So if you guys ever come to Kyoto, you have to try something called Yatsuhashi. It's probably one of the most popular things to eat here. This particular shop is called Nishio. They've been doing business for over 300 years. And um, I got something. This is, this is the original Yatsuhashi. They've been making it for over 300 years. It's basically a cookie tinged with cinnamon. So Satoshi is not going to be eating it because he actually doesn't like these. But anyway, let's try this. Wow, that's pretty crunchy. Wow. You know what? It's not, the cinnamon is not that strong, Satoshi. It's not that strong. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. The cinnamon is coming. <laughs> this is basically a cinnamon, I, I guess like a cookie senbei. You know, it's like the texture is between a senbei and a cookie. It's very, very crunchy. Um, three of these in one pack times two is 100 yen for takeout. But if you come here, I suggest you buy a box. They also have the soft yatsuhashi made with mochi with anko and matcha an as well. And we got a box of that that we'll open up later. But definitely give this a try. One of my favorite things to eat here in Kyoto. One of my favorite things. Now, unfortunately, Kiyomizu Temple is under refurbishment. So we're not gonna be able to show it to you today, unfortunately. So anyway, that's a good reason for us to come back, <laughs> to be honest with you. But uh, Kyoto has a lot more other temples that you can visit. Um, and like, like I said, uh, we're here for the food. So behind us, it's called the Sannenzaka. Yes. Very popular, very beautiful path. It is. And this is the street, this is the path that has that amazing Starbucks. Oh, that you haven't this seen one. yet. So we're going to walk past that. Cannot wait to show him because it's really beautiful. Soft serve again. We bought this one at Maikoto along Sannenzaka. Look, this beautiful color. It's strawberry and salt blue vanilla. This plate is rice cracker. These bowls are also rice cracker. All edible. Oh, mmm. It's very gentle salt flavor, but it enhances the sweetness of this salt serve and this cracker. Very light, very light sakuto. Strawberry? Mm. My favorite type, strawberry flavor. I love strawberry soft serve. I discovered this place this summer when I came here to do research and I love this shop. Yeah, salty vanilla, love, love, love it. And just like Satoshi says, it's not too salty. And you can eat this as well, this rice cracker here. Look at that, I love the design. This is the logo of the shop, Kyoto Cookie and Jams. It's so hard to describe it. I know it's just salt and vanilla, but combined with the strawberry, I don't know, it just creates a new flavor for me. I love it. Check this out guys, we're at Fujinami on Sannenzaka. Uh, this little street that's running down that main street that's going towards Kiyomizudera. And uh, we got this set here, which consists of a matcha, you can select hot or cold, and a Japanese confectionery of your choice. We decided to get the matcha dango. You can also get mitarashi dango as well as warabi mochi. Matcha dango is kind of rare in Tokyo, so this is what we decided to get. And the dango itself is green. There's some matcha powder on the top. I'm curious to see if there's anything on the inside though. Right, itadakimasu! Mm -mm. Nope, it's actually just solid matcha dango with nothing on the inside. Mm. Very nice mochi texture, nice matcha flavor too. And actually you don't really need anko in it. 
Although I do wish there was some anko inside, but this is fine. This is very sophisticated tasting. Very Kyoto-like, because Kyoto is very sophisticated. Sip of my matcha. Mmm, that's unsweetened matcha. So you can sweeten it if you prefer sweet, but we like our matcha pretty bitter. This is a very nice street. I did not know this street. You didn't? I didn't. It's, it's 30 years ago and I only visited temples. The next one is Umeboshi Pickled Plum from Ousuno Sato. They are using Kyoto Plum. The most popular plum in Japan is Nanko Ume from Wakayama, but this is not. This is from Kyoto. Kyoto Plum. And the size is not regular size. This is pretty big. Let's open. Look, this large size pickled plum umeboshi. The aroma is so good. It's sweet as pickled plum. So, if you don't like the pickled plum, you can enjoy as a fruit. Yes, it's a fruit. This umeboshi, by the way, is 540 yen which is approximately five us dollars five us dollars for one pickled plum so this has to be good Mmm. wow i love the balance the perfect balance of sourness and sweetness it's perfectly balanced this is a type of umeboshi that you wouldn't eat with a bowl of rice i think you would eat this by itself with say some high-grade green tea. That's how I would enjoy this. It's so delicious. Oh my gosh. They also sell like ume wine in there, umeshu, in these beautiful bottles. I'm tempted to buy a bottle for myself. So this is something that you wouldn't normally expect to find here. But this is actually a Starbucks. You have to really look to 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 see that it's a Starbucks because you don't see <laughs> that Starbucks logo anywhere except up there, but it's so subtle. Anyway, this is an old tea house that they've uh, refurbished and made it a Starbucks. And on the second floor, you actually sit on the ground. You sit on the tatami floor oh, really? to enjoy your uh, frappuccinos. Oh. guys check it out this is from a shop called Kamanza and this is Nama Hu Dengaku so who is wheat gluten and Dengaku is usually miso this is basically a square or a block of wheat gluten with um, this sweet miso sauce on top we got the yuzu miso flavor mmm mmm mm, that yuzu miso is Delicious! Oh, it's a sweet miso, but with a like a yuzu flavoring. I love that, and it has a little bit kick too. I think there's some chili pepper on top. Mm. Very neutral in taste, so the miso is intense enough that it gives it enough flavor. I think. So they also have a manju, uh, namafu, glut wheat gluten manju and some other things but we want to eat savory stuff so we chose this dengaku i love dengaku mm, nice texture it's like a soft dango but dango is squishy this is less squishy than dango yuzu miso flavor is really good I found nice shop, nice liquor shop. It is called Kikizake Dokoro Sansaro. 336. It's Sansaro in Japanese. And this is Kyo Hanari IPA. Yes, IPA. It's a craft beer in Kyoto. The, the shop is really cool. I couldn't resist this beer from this shop. Itadakimasu. Umai. Little bit different US IPA beer. What shall I say? It has umami. What shall I say? It's like a wine or cheese, some kind of like that, or miso. But it, it's present, present flavor. 
I like this. I like this beer. And this shop is located at the corner of Sanjozaka and Chawanzaka. You can find easily this shop when you go or come back from Kiyomizu Dera. Alright guys, we are back at the hotel. The reason why is because we were stuffed. We couldn't eat anymore. We we're gonna try out this Yatsuhashi. And I'm gonna try it out because Satoshi is not a fan of this particular Because it contains uh, treat. cinnamon. Yeah, usually it does. And the shop name out. is Nishio. Nishio, right. And they, they are one of the older shops. I'm gonna try the original one with the Anko. How is it? Hmm. The mochi part uh -huh. is perfect. Oh. It's paper thin. Texture is good. It's not too chewy or sticky. Um, it has like a slight flavor of cinnamon. The inside anko is tsubon, which is a uh, sweetened azuki bean. All right, I'm gonna try the matcha one. Hmm, this one there's no cinnamon in it. Really? At all. Oh, it's super smooth. Smooth matcha paste. Probably mm. mixed up with white bean. What do you think? No cinnamon, right? Mm. No cinnamon. No cinnamon. No cinnamon. Oh, hmm. It's pretty good, isn't it? Mm. Mm. No cinnamon mm. yatsuhashi. Mm. I can mm. eat. I can eat. So we finally come to the end of this video, and it is time to choose our favorites. Did you have a favorite? I choose the soft serve and blue and pink one. The blue and pink one, the salted vanilla yeah, 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 and yeah, strawberry yeah. Mm -hmm. soft serve. Mm -hmm. It's soft serve, but it has a texture because there are rice crackers around the soft serve. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a salty caramel. Right, and the cone itself is a sugar cone, but it's a chocolate mm -hmm. flavored mm -hmm. sugar mm -hmm. cone. So mm -hmm. everything about that soft serve mm -hmm. is delicious. Mm -hmm. And another, another soft serve is also good because it, there is one whole chestnut. <laughs> oh yeah, that one was really good too. My first favorite has to be that Wagyu beef bun. Ah, that's um, good too. That one was mind-blowingly mm. good. And I think most of you out there, if you come to Kyoto, you are definitely going to love that. So definitely give that one a try. Look at that, my mouth is already <laughs> watering. Just thinking about it, it was so good. And my second favorite, um, because you already chose the ice cream, the soft serve that I was going to choose, is this one, the last yeah, thing we had in the yeah, room. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> like I'm not a big fan of mochi, but I like this kind of mochi because it's very thin, paper thin. So it doesn't, it's not the texture, it's not so much mochi where it feels like it's gonna get stuck in your throat. Or... I love it, plus I love cinnamon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel, please, please, please subscribe. And don't forget to press that bell icon so you're notified every time we release a new video. Thank you for watching. See you next food travel. Yes, it's probably going to be Kyoto. Bye.